To be honest, I've never really seen this incarnation of this tag team before. We've got meaty and vegan. If you say that fast, it sounds like meat eating vegan, and that is a conundrum. I, see, here we are, and this is why I like working with you. You point out stuff like this, and they're on sale today for $3.99 a pound. Yes, they can be found at your local grocers, ladies and gentlemen. They are a delectable meal that comes at an affordable price and uh, is uh, 
good nutrition for all ages and sizes. Well, here we are, our opening contest, the international icons, as I was corrected with. Uh, as compared to the old school icons, I don't know what the difference is. It's still Dante and the I Irish Warrior. Is it me or does Vegan look simply fantastic? If that's me, absolutely. I, that honestly, top was not a way to start, and here is Irish Warrior, who is on a mean streak, just stomping out the man known as Vegan. From the looks of things, as I think Vegan needs a little bit more iron in his diet. That is a sidewalk slam, and that was just painful. And a leg drop from the Irish Warrior, 255 pounds, and just mean Bobby Rossi. Well, mean is not the word. I mean, he is certainly a giant, but he is neither green nor jolly. And we've got a tag here. And Meaty here is in the fold. Meaty wearing red, which I guess is fit. Meat, red meat, you know, vegan wearing green. And he is getting a huge pop out of our crowd. He wants to go for a test of strength. I haven't been in the ring much, but this doesn't seem like a bright idea, Bobby Rossi. I wouldn't chance it, honestly, if I were Meaty. And the Irish Warrior just looks like he's ready to toy with Meaty here. And he's going to eat Meaty for lunch, if you excuse the pun. It, it does not look good for... Okay, that worked. Meaty that, that stepping worked. on the big man's With fingers. I really don't think headlock. that's going to chop down that Sequoia, pal. Nah, side headlock here on Irish Warrior. And Irish Warrior reminiscent of Jerry Lawler 30 years ago with Andy Kaufman. And just throws Meaty into Vegan with a tag. And Vegan trying to... See, this This is just all sorts of bad. And that's probably why they're on sale. And here comes Dante, uh, hailing from Ontario, now international icon. And just levels, levels Vegan with a clothesline and stomping him out now. And although Vegan might not be the most experienced wrestler, he is environmentally conscious. He's very green, if you will. And a scoop slam by Dante. And now with a double underhook there. Referee checking Vegan, see if he wants to quit. Now, do you think he takes protein pills to make sure he has energy for it? Because he's a vegan. I think the guy just stays pretty amped on naked juices. You know, works. naked, the whole... I, I, I didn't mean he had his clothes off while like he was I drinking. Him, Dante going for a suplex. Just folding, folding Vegan in half. And now he's going after Meaty, wearing the Ghostbusters shirt. And I tell you what, they may not be afraid of ghosts, but they should be They should be afraid of the international icons. And now control the leg. Vegan trying to get out of the situation. And is Dante going for... Nope, I thought he was going for a sharp shirt. He's just stomping out Vegan in his uh, vegetables, if you will. Absolutely, his celery is going to be a little flat after that maneuver. And the crowd getting on the referee for not going after Dante with what seemed to be a lower shot. Here comes the Irish Warrior. The Irish Warrior likes meat and vegetables, meat and potatoes. And now they're both stomping up poor Vegan here and Vegan just trying to get to the corner is not happening. They're out. They're outweighed by almost 100 pounds combined. I honestly don't, I don't know who decided this would be a good matchup, Vegan trying to see or at least a three. fair he matchup. He tag to Meaty. Referee saying that there was a tag, and Irish Warrior goes right into the knees. He expected the tag, he wanted the tag, and now a reverse sleeper here. Irish Warrior controlling the weight, and now trying to flip Meaty into a vertical suplex stand. Meaty again grabbing on the headlock and trying to control the Irish Warrior. Irish Warrior saying he won't. And here is the vertical suplex again, holding him in, dropping him right in the center of the ring. Meaty riling in pain. I think he's well done. I would have to agree there, Mr. Massey. And I'll tell you, for two guys that have been in singles competition for the, fa for the past four months, the international icons are moving like a well-oiled machine. Irish Warrior knocking Vegan off the corner, and now a whip into the corner to Meaty, throwing him into Dante for a Northern Light suplex, and there's a pin. One, two, and three. There is the finish. That, that was just, that was mean, is what that was. That was... The Irish Warrior is on a mean streak. Dante is on a hot streak right now in the RWA. And both of these men going into Dynasty are on a roll. There's nothing, there's no way about it. 
full momentum with these two. It's going to be more than interesting to see how they fare at the big event. And as you'd mentioned, Mr. Massey, Dynasty is one week away. That is not only our first live outing of the season, but that is a benefit for the Station Memorial Foundation. For more information on how you can contribute, be sure to check out our website at rwawrestling.net. The, the crowd uh, applauding the produce and the uh, beef products leaving the ring. A lot of salutes here, but it was tough for those two. Honestly, I think if they were in competition up against people more their size, or vegetables more their size, rather, they would have had a better outing. It's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see how things pan out for them in the future as well. I concur with that. And when we come back, our next contest will be Crimson Alchemia taking on Amanda Fox. Keep it here for RWA Hype. <laughs> 